It's pretty early, it's like one o'clock. No, I'm just kidding. Um, today, E39 video. I'll show you in a second what we're doing here. Just gotta back it down the driveway. Broken cup holders, seems normal. Smells like Little Caesars back here. Alright. I forgot. The car's not on, so I don't got power steering. This blows. E brake, first gear, let it roll back. Sometimes the e brake works. Oh. Car's too low, he lowered cars, quitting. Gonna lift it. What's up, guys? Back with a uh, video. I'll put the stock tow hook in there because I thought it looked pretty cool. Maybe I'll paint it later. But, uh, back with a video today. I'm gonna use this to show you what I'm doing. Winter's definitely coming. It's getting chilly out. Um, got a hole saw. I'm gonna get some tape. Drill some fucking holes there. For those aerodynamics. Make my car faster and gayer. So, uh, I'm gonna run the cord out here. Use a cord drill because a little bit more power. I was going to take the bumper off, but it's so much work. There's like three bolts in there, and there's like plastic rivets, and then I really don't care. It's too cold to be doing that. Maybe I'll paint my wheels. Because I got co a color form that I want to do, but like, I suck at painting, and let alone trying to paint spoky-ass wheels. So I don't know about that right now. But I'm probably going to paint the toe hook that color I'll show you later. It's a pretty dope ass color. It looks pretty flawless. Um, so, I'll cut the video to me starting to do bumper BMW E39 guy stuff. Yup. Also, I want to say thank you for uh, 50 subscribers. I know that's not a lot to many other people, but it kind of shocks me that people watch my videos. Well, my channel's videos, including Rob, you know. Wouldn't be this far without any of my uh, guys, Mike, Rob, Logan, John Flower, because maybe he's going to pick up something dope. You haven't really seen John Flower maybe in a video, but you haven't seen his face. Yeah, and I have a scratch on the lens. Great. But shout out for uh, 50 subscribers. Let's make it to 100. And then uh, from 100, a million. So my camera died, so the battery charge up, and uh, I ran to the store and got some tape because I didn't have any masking tape, and I definitely did not want to put some duct tape across this and potentially rip the, what the fuck is that? Did that come out my exhaust? It's probably not good. But I'm going to tape it as good as I can so I can do some race car shit. So really windy and I don't want this whole video to be wind so I'm gonna show you after I'm done taping because it just makes the process a little bit harder to film and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with this whole saw you probably already know to create less drag because these bumpers create a lot of drag I was reading online I was seeing that a lot of cars and I thought it was pretty cool might as well do it throughout the video so uh to do this, you're gonna need a, it doesn't really matter, you can do three inch, two and a half, two and a quarter, one if you really want to, tape, drill, cordless or wireless, doesn't matter, you can even use a fucking manual hand drill if you want. But, uh, I'm gonna start this after I uh, finish taping it up. Alright, so I kinda got carried away here. I've been using this as a reference point. The distance in between are pretty close. But the height is dead on. 
I didn't realize this crash bar was that close, so maybe I like. I was thinking trimming this a little bit shorter to about here. But it looks pretty fucking sick. That's just me though. I don't care. Bumper is just a bumper. I'll probably end up putting a bash bar in this car. But it's looking pretty sick. Fucking 20 bucks for this bit. Lows. So I'm going to try to keep my concentration and do another one on camera. It's kind of hard. Uh, recommended cordless drill. Just throwing that out there. So what I do is I line up the top and I eye it out just a hair to go in, kind of wiggle it out, and then build up the speed. And then boom. Your race car. So kind of fills up your thing and I don't know how to get these out probably with a screwdriver or something but I'm gonna finish it off probably about here this is more of a DIY kind of thing actually it should probably go up here more As long as they look, if you're not going to be like eyeing this thing down, you're probably not going to even notice, but it looks pretty nice. It's cutting really nice. You'll probably end up cutting this bash bar, the stock one, but I want to see if it's like possible to move this thing away from it or maybe even like cut this one day, but that's how I've been doing it. And I'll probably just finish the rest up here. Probably gonna go to the end of this tape line. Eye it up. That's the finished product. Looks pretty fucking dope, not gonna lie. The only reason I'm not doing like oil pressure gauges, volt gauges right now, cause like, I was thinking about it, it's like, you know, if I strip an oil plug, <laughs> this is my daily now, so I can't really fuck up my daily. But I can at least do external mods, maybe do the side skirt too, gang gang. But this is today's video. Um, I'll probably like, do a little bit more shit. I've seen like the covers where people go over with the covers, but like I don't know if I want to do covers, like mainly because if this, I want to put a lot of time into this bumper because if it gets smashed up, it doesn't really matter. And I was reading on the forum that this is actually gonna help, I guess. Like I thought for a second, I was like, would I even bother doing this if this was that close? Well, apparently the air that gets sucked underneath the bumper shoots out here and it's supposed to be like create less drag it's supposed to be like 100% pointless oh this looks pretty sick I think I'm probably gonna clean these up because there's like little tabs everywhere sand it down a little bit just clean it up so it's not like 100% gay oh paint the tow hook too I mean um, next weekend That's the race sled that me and my dad built. We uh, do drag races on snowmobiles and shit. Uh, actually, if you guys, for winter, it's going to be hard to do car stuff because we don't have garages. So if you want to see like snowmobiling stuff and like building sleds and stuff, let me know. Um, give the video a like if you want to see that. Um, I'm probably going to start painting this thing after I clean the holes up. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you how I did. I'm gonna clean these up. And then 
probably, I don't know if I should really paint that because it's gonna like a chip maybe, I don't know. But fuck it, I really don't care. Um, and in the basement of race snowmobile parts. Got that fine ass 80 grit, yeah. I don't really think I need to sand this much. Alright guys, so I did that first coat of primer. And it says one coat needed because it's self etching so it sticks real well to the part. And then... What I got over here, the color I'm doing, that's what I want to do my wheels in, but I hate painting. And then I got a nice clear Plasti Dip, but it's a really cool color and it does like silver flakes. So I might do like a layer over that with this and then clear it, because this shit sprayed, or uh, dried fast. Oh, S10 broke down on me, I forgot to say that. Uh, fuel pump went out, so I got to do a fuel pump. No, I'm going to do eBay. Probably just going to pick, pick up an eBay fuel pump. That's going to be uh, kind of goofy. But uh, stay tuned for that, doing the eBay fuel pump on a truck. I'm not pulling the bed. I'm not dropping the gas tank. I'm literally just cutting a hole in the bed, making a little door with hinges. So if it shits out on me again, I can just literally open the door on my bed right to the fuel pump. So I'm going to let this dry. And then come down. I mean, holy shit, this stuff dried quick already. Yeah, it's already dry, what the fuck? Alright, well, I'm gonna give it like another five minutes, and I'll probably do the first layer red. So I kinda forgot to film doing the first two layers. I did a layer of primer, found some primer. Sanded the primer down, well, wet sanded it. Got two layers of paint on. I'm gonna do my third. This is the color I'm probably gonna do my wheels. I'll show you in the sun, because it looks way better in the sun. When it's dark, it looks like blood. It's pretty cool. I like dark color. Well, dark reds. The right here is probably my favorite color. So. Coat of clear. Did the sparkle and the, uh, Last coat of paint and all that fun stuff. Um, I'll probably show it tomorrow. Cause I'm gonna let this dry overnight, so it cures really nice. I'm not trying to like chip it, putting it back in, or smudging, or fucking it up somehow. Um, so I'll probably cut it to tomorrow, and I'll show you what I did with the. Uh, the holes in the bumper, like how I cleaned them up. I used like 80 grit because that's what I had laying around. And uh, yeah, I'll show you tomorrow.